This is Showtime Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Earl Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Adrian El Tigre. Bernardo, how you doing, man? Good, 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 man. Shout out to True School Sports. Hey, shout out to you, man. It's good to be in your hometown. We got the little, I can see the subway in the back. Oh, we're in Shai Chicago. Town, baby, shout out We're in downtown. We're on LaSalle and Wacker right now. Busy spot you ever come. We got the Chicago River right here. It's a beautiful place to be. Yeah. Summertime shy. Summertime ah. shy. <laughs> Nothing like it, man. Yeah, Nothing yeah. Nothing like for it. Sure. Um, just let me know, man. Like, how, how have you been since the Broner fight? I know we haven't heard a lot from you since then. What, what, what's, been, what's been going on with you since uh, that whole fight? Um, I was really disappointed with myself with that Broner fight. Um, to, to all the fans out there, I was like at 70%, maybe 65 There was a lot going on during camp. I'm not making no excuses, Adrian. He got a close decision. I, I, I watched the fight. I still think like, I won the fight. Um, but, I mean, yeah, man, I, I, if I would have been at 100%, I would have dominated him. Um, he was I, like he was having trouble with my boxing, you know, which a lot of people, I know they were surprised by that. They didn't know I could box. Um, but, but as far as the reception, it's been great. Everybody's told me that I won the fight. Everyone's told me that, uh, you know, I deserve another big fight. And right now it's been frustrating because uh, I've had a lot of big fights that fell off just because people are saying that I'm high risk, no reward. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm telling those people, like, come on, man, like, what, what happened to the glory days when real fighters wanted to fight the best? Right now, nobody wants to challenge, you know, and they all want to get cherry picked. Yeah, well, and they can always make that excuse too. They say, well, look at his record, not knowing, you know, what you kind of had to go through when you got right, those fights. Right, 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 exactly. And I mean, I, that's why I always tell people, I'm like, well, yeah, look at my record. Like, yeah, that, that's why you should fight me more and more, you know, I, I should be. It's an easy opponent. Yeah, it's an easy opponent. It's an easy win for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But they know it's not true. <laughs> yeah, it's not true. Okay. Um, you know, it's funny. When I talk boxing to people, I, I often refer to you as the guy, the, the guy that everyone in the division knows, but that nobody wants to fight. Um, you're, you're, you're in a division where like it, people could say it's, it's kind of weak right now. A lot of people, lot of people deem 140 as weak. What are the fights ideally that, that you want at that weight class? Um, I want to fight Crawford or Ndongo, whoever wins that fight. Um, Omar Figueroa is another one. He looked impressive in his comeback fight. Um, he said he just needed that fight and then he wants to fight me next. So hopefully we can make that happen. Um, anybody else really top five, top ten fighters. Uh, another fight too would be Rancis Barthelemy. I know he's moved up. Uh, two division world champion. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I, we're in the talks already for that fight, so I want to make it happen. You know, I, I hope he doesn't try to duck me too. Um, I mean, he's a great fighter, a great Cuban boxer. Um, you know, I'm saying let's get it done. Okay. So, yeah, because so, there's a lot of options right now. Yeah, there are a lot of options. I mean, most there was other good fights, you know, that were that were brought up, but just didn't didn't come through just because the fighter didn't want to fight me. But I mean. Um, you know, hopefully somebody mans up and, and gives me another shot and uh, lets me, you know, show boxing that I've got a lot more to offer. Um, you know, like I said, I, I was very disappointed with my fight with Adrian Broner. Uh, I died out there at the end, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm known for my conditioning. That never happens, so I mean, that's where I'm really disappointed with myself. Yeah. You're, you have a TV-friendly style, so... Why, why is it that guys who aren't even big names, like like Arantz Bartholomew, why, why are they not, you know, jumping to fight you? You know, you got the record, you got the record that's not glossy, you got uh, people, people, people say you don't have defense, you get knocked down too easily, like, why, why don't you think it's happening? Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's just the fact that they know who I am and they know who I've been in there with, they know all my decisions are shaky, they know a lot of them that I won, you know, so, uh, you know, a a anybody who, who's gonna fight me knows they're gonna be in a tough fight, you know, I mean, Win, lose, or draw, I'm gonna make you fight, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna test you. Yeah, that's true, man. And you know, 